Good afternoon and uh, welcome to West Coast Model Battleships. I'm your host Dave. Got a little update and I want to propose a question to the community. Um, how did you get started in the building models? For me it was my mom when I was very young. Um, she built me a USS Enterprise, helped me build when I was about uh, six or eight years old and it kind of stuck. Um, developed it into there from from building on to just um, I did cars, I did planes, I did ships and I've kind of stuck with ships. Um, I know shipbuilders are a rare breed out there but uh, I, I love building the battleships. I do some sci-fi every now and then um, but let's see what you guys say. Do a little video. Tell me what brought you into building what you build now and what do you build the most Let's see what we can get out of the community. I think it would be great. Um, had a couple snafus with the photo etch in this kit. It uh, doesn't quite want to work well, if you know what I mean. So let's jump down there and take a look, and I'll try to explain as the best I can to what I came up with solutions to save a lot of these detail and uh, see where we go from there. Everything so far is looking good on what I've done. So, like I say, Let's see a video. Tell me why you got into modeling and why you continue. I think it'd be great. Let's spread the world around and get more people doing this hobby. It's a great hobby. Um, so with that, let's jump down here and uh, we're going to take a look at what I've got done. Okay, we are back. So, I've been working on the main superstructure quite a bit and I ran into some snafus here. The first one was when I went to dry fit this to the deck. The photo etch piece had there's a little lip runs right along here, which sits down in the deck to hold it tight. Well, there was such a gap between here and here that the photo etch there was no way to fill it. So I removed the photo etch and put the plastic piece on, added more photo etch to the outside of it. So that solved the problem with that. Now we go to this next piece, this light colored piece right here. This also had a piece that came up here and tied into another piece. So after getting it all lined up and everything, I went to dry fit it and it wouldn't fit. It was just too tall, bowed, and everything else. So I removed this piece from here to here, about like where that orange thing is, to get it to fit and I think I've got this thing worked out. So this piece right here goes here on there so it sits like that and then this piece ties into the top take that little piece off like so and now if you look at that thing we've got a nice tight seal all the way across the top around the edges and what I did here is I just put a small strip of stain right there to hold that bottom in and flare it in but I keep all the detail of the photo etch which is easy to overcome and all that so and then this last little piece sits up here like so so that's the side that's the main superstructure where the bridge is and all that and then hopefully with a little wood glue and sealing up some of those seams you're never going to see that snafu that was in that photo etch kind of disappointed in that photo etch but so that's my progress for the week every time I seem to seem to take a step forward with this beast it jumps back at me but that's why we do it we overcome it we continue on so with that, I'm going to jump back up top and we'll be uh, making this one a short one this week. Okay, we're back. That was my little dilemma for the week. Um, I've overcome it. I will prevail, just like we all do. Um, give a little shout out. It was nice to see Solomon uh, posted a video. If you haven't uh, seen him, I wish him the best. I know his health isn't good, but Solomon... Good to see you out there. I love the idea about your uh, little project you're taking on to keep yourself into it. 
and I wish you the very best. So that was my update. I hope you all have a great weekend. It's supposed to be warm out here in SoCal the next couple days. And we're going to take advantage of that too. And I think that's about it. Please leave a like, comments, I'm always welcome. And please click that subscribe button. And shop cards are available. Willing to trade anytime. With that, we'll catch you next week.